Express one con quantity as a percentage of another. First of all, we'll look at our first example, which is really a question. 70 centiliters is what is question mark percent of one litre? First of all, we need to get our units to be equivalent. You may know that 70 centiliters can be converted to a comparable measure of our second volume, which is litres. We need to know that one centiliter equals 10 mils, which is the same as 10 cubic centimetres, which is the same as uh, 0 0.01 litres, because 1 litre equals 1,000 cubic centimetres, which is the same as 1,000 mils, which is the same as 100 cubic centimetres. That being the case, we, we, yeah, we can convert our centiliters to litres, which is probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, the fact is that one centiliter is 0 0.01 litres, so 10 centiliters would be 0 0.1 litres, 70 centiliters is therefore 0 0.7 litres. We then need to decide what percentage of 1 litre 70 centilitres is. Well, one, 100 centilitres is 100% of 1 litre. That is to say, if we converted that to litres, 1 litre is 100% of 1 litre. I mean, I think that's quite a straightforward example of a starting point for us. That being the case, 50 centilitres is 50% of 1 litre. You might be able to see where we're going with this. 70 centilitres is 70% 70 of 1 litre. So that answers our original question. 70 centilitres is 70% of one litre. Remember, percent is out of 100, really. So once we've got our units equivalent, you might be able to look at the numbers involved and come round to see that um, 70 litres is, in fact, 70% of one litre. Our second example, slightly different type of question. We're increasing three pounds by 15 pence. Again, we have to get our units equivalent. We could either make the pounds into pence or the pence into pounds. We need to know. Uh, we'll use a different colour this time. How about a green. We need to know that one pound equals 100 pence. Let's work with pence in this case. Um, we'll convert our three pounds to pence. Uh, our conversion rate would let us do that, probably just by inspection. One pound is 100 pence, three pounds is 300 pence. So we're increasing three pounds, 300 pence, to buy 15 pence, that will give us 315 pence. That's the 300 pence plus the 15 pence. What percentage increase is that? We need to think what do we times 300 by to get to 315 or that's one way of looking at it. So 300 times something is 315 pence. And we're looking for this as a percentage. Well, I'll tell you, 300 times 100%, so 100% 100 of 300 is 300. If we increase it by 300 times 110%, 10% 10 of 300 is 
30, we'd have 330, and that's too much. Um, so we've increased it by 30. We actually want to increase it by half as much as that. So 300 times 105% would give us 315. So that's the answer we're looking for. We've solved that one by inspection. Uh, and that's probably the best way of doing these sorts of questions if you're dealing with what I would call nice numbers. The key to unlocking these sorts of questions is getting our units equivalent. So you do need to know certain basic conversion rates, for instance, 100 pence in the pound, 1,000 mils in a litre, 100 centiliters in a litre, to be able to approach some of these types of questions.